My name is Lisa Steno Biddle. I'm president and co-founder of Lacarta. Lacarta is a five-year-old biotech company in Kansas City, Kansas, that works on product development as well as assay development for testing for our clients. Cell-based assays are essential to what Lacarta does. It's really at the center of the of the company. We do product development in cell-based therapies, and those are 3D clusters of cells that are used to um, mitigate diseases. We also do cell-based testing for clients in the pharmaceutical and nutraceutical arenas. So a client will come to us and they need to reproduce the physiology of the body in a petri dish, basically. And we know that those assays are more predictable of what's going to happen in the body if they're in 3D. So we create the 3D clusters and we may also have to replicate the entire immune system if it's an immunotherapy that's being tested for the client. Lacarta has specialized itself in the early discovery phase of drug development. There, the companies are trying to decide if this is a potential drug that has worth. We use a lot of automation and we keep the cost reasonable in that early discovery phase to give them the answer of yes, there looks something is promising here or no, probably not. My name is Stephen Harrington. I am a research scientist and the director of production at Licarta in Kansas City, Kansas. Part of my job here at Licarta is to develop our quality control assays for our islet transplant product. Um, and so what that involves is taking a, an, an, a benchtop assay and sort of translating that into something more automated and high throughput uh, that can be repeated over and over again. And so what we use the Integra Assist for is to sort of bridge that gap. So a lot of times when you do something at the benchtop level manually, it doesn't really translate into high throughput robotics very well. And so the Integra Assist is great because it allows us to, to think in robotic terms, but with the variability and, and flexibility of manual benchtop uh, equipment. We have had the Integra Assist for a little over a year. And one of the key benefits of using the assist is consistency of data and the, the reproducibility of it between users. And we find that the results from the Integra are much more accurate than using manual equipment. Uh, and another thing that's been really great about using the Integra is that we can now sort of accurately move in from a 96 well format to a 384 well format, which has really helped us save a lot of time, uh, which is great for such a small team. We really like the fact that the Integra Assist is a standalone system. So it doesn't have to be plugged in or connected to a computer system at all. So there's no software that needs to be updated or anything like that, no keyboards, no mice. And so everything is controlled by the pipette itself. So whether you're using that pipette on the bench top for just a, a quick assay, or you're plugging it into the Assist instrument itself, it's all controlled by the pipette, and it's a really seamless transition from that sort of bench top to the, to the automated uh, setup. The Integra instrument is very ergonomic. Uh, the pipette itself is operated with one hand and really just your thumb. The touch screen is very easy to work with, and, and all of the, the points on it are very easily accessible with just your thumb, and the buttons on the instrument itself are very easy to press which is really great when doing a, a long uh, process and a lot of high throughput work. The Integra system is far less expensive than your traditional robotic uh, liquid handling systems. And what this allows us to do is develop and execute more complex physiological assays at a fraction of the price. Therapies are becoming more and more complex. The easy targets have been found and drugs have been developed for those targets. Now we look at therapies that interact with a number of different receptors, a number of different cells, systems, even physiologies. And so we need more complex early predictive tests. And that's where Licarda has really staked its claim. As we look to the future, complexity in the early assay development and testing is where we think we'll have the biggest impact.